Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty and I go by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online. In today's video, we're going to unbox a Singer Patchwork sewing machine. And this is a new sewing machine for me. And uh, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm a little bit worried <laughs> because uh, down here, you can see it's kind of, um, it's kind of beat up. So, uh, yeah, I'm just hoping and praying that when I get it out of the box, it's going to be okay and it's going to work and everything's going to be beautiful because I actually ordered a heavy duty 4432 from Singer last week that came. And, uh, when I tested out the stitches, um, none of the decorative stitches would work. So, and zigzag either. It would only sew the straight stitch because the needle right left um, function would not work. So um, currently I have a return call in to Singer and I'm waiting for my um, UPS label to come so that I can return it <laughs> because basically I'm out the money until I can return it. So I really hope that this, this, this patchwork is going to work because I don't want to be out on this one too. Um, the reason that I um, have bought a sewing machine is because my usual backup is giving me trouble and I am worried uh, about having something go wrong with the brilliance because it is a very lightweight machine and it's so hard to get a sewing machine right now. And uh, so I'm trying my darndest <laughs> to plan ahead so that I'm not uh, without a machine, you know, at the height of, of sewing season. So that was the motivation behind getting this machine. If it was normal time frame, I would just wait until something went down and then I would go buy something like a normal person at the store. But you know, it's 2020 and who knows what normal means anymore. <laughs> so Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at what this machine has. Okay. Because this is a nice machine. Um, I will tell you, I used this, uh, brand of machine, this version when I was teaching in Joanne's and this is what we had in the sewing center. So, um, all of the students learned to sew using this machine. And so it took a lot of abuse and it worked really well. So I have high hopes for it. It's like, um, a nice entry level quilters machine. Uh, it's definitely a step up from what I have. Uh, this machine comes with uh, 15 quilting stitches, nine essential stitches, eight stretch stitches, 61 decorative stitches. And if you don't know, I love decorative stitches. <laughs> and it comes with seven buttonhole stitches, uh, six of which are fully automatic one-step buttonholes. So that's kind of nice. This machine, it even comes with a DVD, but I think I can just thread up and go. So anyway, those are the stitches. For the features on this machine, it comes with an automatic needle threader. It has a start and stop button and speed control, which is really nice. A top drop-in bobbin with clear view cover. 11 presser feet, uh, including four bonus quilting feet. And I believe it comes with its own walking foot attachment, although I have a walking foot, but we'll see what it has. Uh, it comes with a bigger extension table. Uh, it has the programmable needle up and down feature, which I really like. Automatic stitch length, which is pretty standard. This one comes with some sort of a canvas cover. So we'll see what that is. Maybe that's a little bit of a nicer cover. So anyway, it's got some features. It's got some stuff. Let's get it out of the box. I should tell you as an aside, <laughs> um, I'm filming this in my garage and I'm doing that because uh, it's raining and it's dark. It's like nighttime. Let me just show you so you can see out here. And uh, my sewing room is so small and it has one itty bitty tiny window and it's so dark in there. I just uh, was like, I, I just, <laughs> I can't, I can't film anything in there when it's this dark. It just really looks, it looks, it looks very, very dark. It looks like it's like in the middle of the night. Um, gosh, you can see, and now that I'm looking on the backside of this, this has really been 
banged around so God, I hope it's okay. All right, let's open it. Okay, it's out of the box and we're going to go ahead and plug it in. It has a foot pedal and the power cord and they're separate. On the 4432, I thought it was kind of nice. They just combined the uh, foot pedal and power cord into the same plug. But anyway, this one's not like that. So uh, I'm gonna plug everything in and we'll turn it on and hope for the best. <laughs> Okay, it's on, we have power. It makes that same terrible noise that the uh, <laughs> brilliance makes when you turn it on, but uh, okay. I'm going to uh, wind up the bobbin and um, get it started. Let me show you. Here's the extension table, and I mean, it's huge. I'm not gonna hook it up. Today's video is just gonna be a, just a really quick first impressions, and all we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, put the thread on, wind a bobbin, and we're just gonna pick some random stitches and run them through and see how they do. And that's gonna be what we do today. Um, I'll do a, a more thorough uh, tutorial and review at a different time. So just know that more is coming. But anyway, on this extension table, it's so nice because it's got measurements all along the bottom and it's it is a nice big table so but we're not going to get into that today um in this box it was the walking foot so that was nice um, this is like all of your um your little supplies that you're going to use and uh, yeah when we do the more thorough review we'll go through all of those bits and pieces but um for today we're just going to get what we need to put some thread on and get going. So uh, let me just get a couple of things out and set up and um, we'll see what we've got. Okay, so I have threaded up um, just really quick. I just wound a very small bobbin because I made the mistake of winding a huge bobbin on the last machine and then the machine didn't work. So let's just, uh, ooh, I forgot I had this. Um, let's just see what we've got here. So all I've done is thread it up okay maybe I don't know what I'm doing yet so um, okay we're just gonna put put that down manually uh, we're just on a regular straight stitch let's see what we get Ooh, so far so good that sounds like butter And the locking in. Okay, so far so good. Let's see what we've got. That actually looks really nice. Oh my goodness. So I want you to see. So this is the uh, test stitching I did on the, um, the 4432. And no matter what I put it on, all I got was a straight stitch. And see where this is like really thick? That's where like the feed dogs were working, but the needle was not going back and forth. So I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna mark the line for the patchwork so that we can see exactly where we started uh, sewing with this machine. trim everything off here. Okay. Thread tails made me crazy. All right. Um, let's go to, let's just pick something easy. Let's just pick uh, number uh, five. Okay. And we'll just, um, we'll just start it right up here. So far, people. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's go to put the needle up. Let's go to nine. Oh, 
Oh, it's so quiet. Okay, and let's just pick one more. Let's go with, uh, let's just say 19, see what happens. And then we'll lock it in. All right. And let's see what we've got. Oh, it looks good so far. Now, I mean, I have done absolutely no uh, tension adjustments, nothing. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, I think it's going to be great. Oh, let's do number 30. I liked 30. I didn't have that one on the brilliance. So let's see how it does on here. And I'm just doing all their automatic settings. I haven't done anything with the uh, tension. We're just we're just sewing. Let's try a different one. Let's try um, let's try 37. That one's different. I don't have that one on the uh, my current machine. And we'll do one more, and then. Uh, let's see. Let's try 85. see what we've got. It's always exciting to see what your stitches look like when you pull it off. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so we did, uh, this is 30. This is 37. And then this was 85. So, uh, so far, so good. So, okay. Uh, initial impressions are good. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little time to go through the instructions and figure out all of this part because I'm obviously missing something. And I think we'll wind up, uh, we'll, I'll use the rest of this thread and then I'll wind up a bigger bobbin and uh, sew a project. And, uh, I'll be back and give you the full review, but um, for now, it works. Hooray. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm sorry this is kind of weird, but um, I really wanted to get it out of the machine and I didn't want to, you know, do all of this and miss filming the unboxing and the um, initial impressions for you because, you know, that's always a fun thing for a YouTube channel. Um, but okay, so far so good. And uh, yeah, we're going to call this one um, done. And I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the machine um, as I use it for the very first time. And uh, you will be seeing a lot of this going forward. So uh, that's what I've got for you. And um, thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.